Hi again. again. We just got back from Los Angeles where we were judges at the American Autoflower Cup. And while we were there, we got to check out the Pulse headquarters. Later in this video, you're gonna get a sneak peek of an all new product from Pulse, so stay tuned. We've been using Pulse and it's really helped us tremendously with our grows and our environments. Like when we were having heat issues last summer in the studio here. Yo. This thing can't cure and fast boy, enough. Is it it is crazy hot in here. I got sweat dripping down my legs right now. <laughs> <laughs> we had a pulse in the main room, the lung room, just monitoring our temperatures and humidities. When we peep the pulser, we can see in the room, it's 81.9 degrees, blistering heat. That's not blistering. I've it's hot though. It's definitely been hot. It's hot you too, for saying humidity it's in the room. It's miserable. It's so hot in here. It's like what all it is. Working, it's the worst. In the tents were telling us that our VPD was way off. Temperatures were getting out of control along with the humidity right in that peak of summer. Pulse Pro also features a CO2 PPM meter and a PAR meter. We even use that to try and reduce our light height and power to try and reduce heats in the tent over summer. But even with all that, we could see that stuff was getting out of control in the room here. We use the data and easy to use charts on the web-based app or on the phone app just to kind of review what was going on in the room. And we knew we had to add a mini split to help keep the room cool. So all the data has really helped us make informed decisions on how to correct situations with the environment, transform the way we grow. And it does alert us when there's any changes in our environment. Or with the plants and the feeding using the new Pulse Hub. With the Floriflex system, it's really helped me understand the EC, the pH, watching the dry backs and learning how to use that to promote root growth and better plant growth. So I'm really starting to get my grasp on using Floriflex with the hub, being able to monitor all these key factors and then how it plays into the grow. And I think we really are starting to hit that stride. As you can see from the upcoming Tropicana cookies that we ran in Floriflex, the plants turn out beautifully. The Pulse Hub has really become almost a linchpin of us and our traveling and being able to watch the plants, at least the ones running on Floriflex right now, because we can monitor the feed EC, pH, and all that that's going on in the pots and with the feeding for the plants while we're gone. When we were in Vegas for Pit My Grow, and now when we were just gone for a week in LA, it's really helped us keep an eye on things to make sure everything's going smoothly with the plants. They're getting fed at the right intervals, the right moisture. Like you can definitely tell if a watering has been missed or if something is going on just from looking at the data and reviewing it that you can pull up on your phone from anywhere. Another benefit of the Pulse that I'm really kind of in love with is the fact that they have a whole calendar that you can keep track of all of your plants all in one spot. I also really love that the Pulse has what they call a batch feature. You can track your plants from start to finish and even into cure. You don't even have to have a Pulse to use this feature, which is really, really awesome. And if you do get a Pulse, you can integrate it so very easily. Batches has been really great for tracking our plant status because you can do your germination, your seedling stage, your veg stage, your flower, your dry, your cure. You can enter all that dates in there and it will track and give you a visual reference of when you're gonna be done at the specific stage and then you move to the next. And you can do all that for free without even having any Pulse devices. Just sign up and use the app or their web-based interface, which I absolutely love. But there are some things I would like to see change on the web interface and on their app. For example, I'd like to see a batches right at the home screen so that way I can just go to the batches rather than have to go to the zone and then the tent and then click the plants to get to the batches or add a new plant. And they really do listen to the community and are constantly making updates on the app and the interface, adding new features, making it easier to use, and listening to the community through their really awesome forums that you can go there for support or questions or feedback and they actually listen. It's really been helpful in taking our growing to the next level. So when we knew we were going to California for the American Auto Flower Cup, we had to reach out to Chris and make sure we got a chance to go to the Pulse headquarters and check it out. We're gonna get a hotel because we didn't have a place to stay after the American Auto Flower Cup. And Chris came back and said, of course we can come and that he had an extra apartment that we could stay at while we were out there. Huge shout out to Chris. So thank you so much for the invitation to come check out the Pulse headquarters and giving us a place to stay for the extra few days letting us explore around Venice Beach and all that. We'll have a really fun video on the American Auto Flower Cup coming up soon, guys. So make sure to check that out. Lots of great winners from the community here and big winners from Mephisto and Fast Buds. And we got to meet Tim from Mephisto. It's gonna be a fun one. Stay tuned for that, guys. We have the Pulse headquarters. We're about to get the tour from Chris. Let's get in here. Let's go. 
Hey, hey, Hello. what's up guys? What's up? Welcome to the lab. U.S. headquarters of Pulse right here in uh, Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Do everything from conceptualizing the products, prototyping, designing, pretty much everything done right here in house. That's awesome. So welcome, come on yeah, in. Yeah, let's take a little tour. Yeah, kind of the front of the house, you know, yeah. do some new sensor testing. This used to be a bit of a grow, but our <laughs> landlord wasn't super pumped on it. Right. So. <laughs> We downgraded a little bit, just, but... Just testing without the plants. But we still get it done. A lot going on lately. We've got all sorts of sensors and testing on the hub. Uh, yeah. Really kind of made it a lot faster for us to release sensors on the platform with the right. hub release. So testing, um, testing. We've got all sorts of things going on. How long have you guys been at this location? Uh, this location, we moved in uh, 2020. More sensor testing. ORP sensors are coming out shortly. Oh, nice. Um, so up front here, pretty much everything gets conceptualized, designed. Um, you know, all of our ordering, sales, all of the engineering kind of happens in the front of the house. And then in the back of the house is where we do all of our US-based assembly, manufacturing, and fulfillment. So we do everything in-house, which makes it really uh, you know, easy for quality control reasons. Yeah, you know, right every, here. everything is here. All in house, that is so dope. You don't see many companies doing that these days. One of the new things we are working on right now is our open sprinkler integration, um, which will be a kind of a Pulse's first integration with any type of controls. Open Sprinkler's got a great piece of uh, solenoid control hardware that can be connected to the internet. Kind of its shortcoming is that the sensor that it uses is pretty much a yes or a no. Oh, okay. It's mostly made for lawns. That's where Pulse comes in. Through the Pulse UI, you'll be able to you know, drive Open Sprinkler logic based on VWC sensor readings from the Pulse. Oh, okay. And that way you can get you know really percentage-based uh, crop steering um, for a very, these are very affordable, 150 bucks. You combine it with the VWC kit and then you're, you've got a full crop steering setup. So this is kind of in beta right now. Yeah, you just use a standard ACDC, Floriflex, um, or any other type of solenoid. It'll be sick to have something like that and something automated based on the, you know, the drybacks and things yeah. like that. Like, oh, water at 20%, you know, let it get down and then it'll kick on. That's yeah. pretty, that's slick. In the future, we'll be doing um, some relays and outlets. Uh, that are supported through Modbus that the hub can also drive. Oh, that'll be sweet. Um, but that's further down the line. The open sprinkler stuff is, is more uh, more in the short term will be coming out. Got my dab art. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, like that's that. that's sick. Oh, is, is this your office? Yeah, this is oh, the main lab. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Cannabis Creations this. Art, one of our favorite uh, canvas focused artists. Oh, those are great. Oh, I love that. At cannabis.creations. I like even the uh, the trash cans are oh, <laughs> staying on staying on brand. So this is the back of the house. This is Nikki. She has Hi, Nikki. Uh, gives the final touch on all the packages before they go out. Oh nice. Um, so all the nicey boxes that you guys order and open are, are packed by Nikki here. Yeah. Got the swag area over there. We gotta make sure to oh, get yeah. you, we gotta make sure to hit that before you guys head out. So once we're done designing and prototyping over there, pretty much things come in on on the the dock back here. Raw materials for all the products. This is where they start, all the fixtures, connectors, screws kind of go around the, the production loop here, depending on the, what product it is, and down to final boxing, and that's where it completes the cycle over here. Oh, that's awesome. How many employees do you have working on assembly and stuff? Um, we're just on, on site, we're just a team of four. Wow. Um, and our total team is maybe like uh, 12 or so between the offsite engineers that we have. Uh, yeah. Um, which are spread out kind of all over. Really fast turnaround times. We do all the QA on site, so it's, uh, we keep it tight. It's probably even a better customer experience because then you guys know exactly what each customer gets. So right. I really love that. It's a, it's a real team and yeah. you guys really set something special up here. That not, and no other companies really are doing kind of in the space, not as many. That was one of the main goals, honestly. You know, m me being a grower myself, I had experienced the pains of some of the hydroponic manufacturers. Yeah. Like, just, you know, lackluster quality, you know, quality essentially. And then, you know, if there was a warranty need, you know, they don't pick up their phones. And when we started this up, especially being, you know, a connected technology, I said, we, we have to have the best support. We have to have the best, you know, reliability. You rely on seeing it, and now it's not there. It kind of defeats the purpose, so. Um, that's why we chose to do all the electronic assembly here in the U.S. Anytime we have any sort of you know, issue, it's very quick to be remedied. Acne assembly down in Torrance, they're 
lifesavers. Yeah. Love those guys. Keep the you know, product quality really high and yeah. um, any sort of issues, you know, we're all kind of here. So we hear about them and anything could be right here. Resolved really you quickly. guys make everything here. So if somebody does have some kind of an issue, it comes back for service here then, do you? Uh, yeah, we come back here. Right. Um, it, it, John's on the phones, nine to five, which is pretty rare, US-based support for yeah. us. Knows a lot. He's probably even knows more about the products than me in right. terms of troubleshooting. Like, let me run out and back um, and do some troubleshooting in the lab. But yeah, <laughs> right and if there's a warranty need, of course we 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 stay true on that. Our warranty is a year, but we're pretty flexible depending on as long as you didn't you know abuse it. One of my favorite areas is back here is the 3D print lab. When we do all the enclosure designs, uh -huh. we just get a computer file, yeah. uh, which we we print out back on those printers. Okay. Um, and they're, they're really high resolution printers. 3D printing's come a long way. Yeah, so, definitely. A um, lot of companies these days will prototype. From even when we started Pulse in the beginning, the, you know, you couldn't have a home 3D printer like this, but now even I can do the 3D printing. Right. It doesn't it, take too much that's skill. the best way to like, you know, test prototypes before yeah. you send them to production. Every day we come in, we can make a modification and Ooh. see constantly oh, like, improving sweet. on the design. The final tray is ready for boxing um, as orders come in. We have just the four SKUs, the one, the Pro, the hub and now the zero yeah uh, which is going to be getting released here soon zero so that's a little bit of a leak right <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. can we show what it looks like um yeah we could, we could probably do that <laughs> a little sneak peek yeah for pretty much it's a remix of the pulse one we, we got the price down we got the size down um same exact sensors inside of there for temperature humidity and vpd oh awesome um still wi-fi connected still yeah. its own little computer just like the other devices uh, with the exception of this one doesn't have obviously the battery power option that the yeah, Pulse one has. Yeah, USB only. Yeah, so if you want to ha use AA batteries to power it instead of the cord right here, you, you uh, go with the one, and if not, go with the zero. It's a little bit uh, more affordable. Right, and we, I know we definitely have a bunch of power strips that have USB ports in them already in the tents because yeah. they're so handy, so that'll be perfect. Just plug that in there and yep. good to go. Data right away. Yeah, yeah. Pulse, this is the Pulse. Zero. Zero. And if you guys Pulse just want to dip your toe in the Pulse, this is probably the perfect time. If you're interested in the new Pulse Zero, they go on pre-order starting today. So if you'd like to pick one up, please use code HIGAN. It'll save you some money and it helps support the channel. So we really appreciate it. Check out PulseGrow.com for more information. We've been yeah. loving the batch tracking and all that stuff. And it'll, you know these will be able to record all that data and then give it to you at the end of that run. I know yep. you've been saying that you're doing a lot of updates to the batch tracking. Yeah, batch tracking is about to get really cool. We're going to be able to start generating like full batch reports, start to finish, um, very similar to a potency report uh, that you get from a lab. But this will tell you, you know, what the, the whole life cycle of the plant looks like. Yeah, um, we've been and, loving that. For, even oh, for the tracking, so how it gives you the countdown on the days and in the stage, like yeah. we, we've been loving that. Oh, so the day much. counter is it's, like that's the way. I, I could have used that ten years ago. <laughs> right? Yeah. Be careful. Pulse is addicting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll end up checking it a lot. Yeah, for um, real. Tell us a little more of the story then why you kind of started Pulse. I was kind of working in the enterprise technology space. In college, I had a passion for growing, where I started on a small scale and growing on while having my nine to five. And I, yeah. I always had this paranoia while I was at work, pretty much. I was away from the garden for eight hours a day. Yep. But it was a decent sized garden, 10 by 20 in a not so legal state. So, you know, the stakes were higher and I just wanted to be more in tune with my garden. A, you know, a bit because of that paranoia, but B, mostly because I love the garden. Yeah. And I was constantly going in there and checking on things or when I was, you know, working in there and I left, I was like, oh, did I turn that fan off? And did I want to go unseal the space and, <laughs> you know, let the smell come up, you kind know, of leak into the main area of the house and all these sorts of things. Pulse really started around a real grower's need, mine. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, and it was, you know, so it was kind of the alerting aspect that really uh, got me interested in the project as a grower. Yeah. Once Peter and I started prototyping out the first versions of Pulse, we started doing some uh, graphic, displaying that data in a way that made sense for a grower. Pretty close to what you see today as, as the Pulse graph and the way you read it. Uh, once we realized how powerful the data was, yeah. and we could see the grow in a different way and all the insights that could be extrapolated about, you know, what's my day to night swing? It's like, 
Oh wow, I, I know my uh, wall mount hydrometer says it hit 75 RH last night, but was it 75 RH all night, you know? Yeah. So you, you f end up finding out all these things you didn't know before, ultimately making improvements, and that's when uh, it really came together. And we were yeah. like, oh, the data is really the key here. It really is. That's one thing I've noticed, especially since we started using it, just the, the way you guys have your app set up and even the web-based integration of the data, it's really easy to digest. It's really easy to see what's going on. And I know we personally have learned a ton just from combing over the data and see what's going on with the grows and especially at our new house with the different <laughs> issues we've had with just dialing in the humidity in the environment or the temperatures and things like that. It's really helped us capture all that, see what's going on and make make moves to make it better. Well, we appreciate all the support. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. And after going out to LA and meeting Chris and seeing that these, you know, these products are built right here in the USA, which not many companies are doing these days. And it's just a small team, it's not some huge company. They started these because they were growers and these are things that they were looking for in a, in a monitor, an advanced monitor for their grows. So it's really cool to see that, them start up basically their own company uh, and build this from the ground up. And it's really helped our grows, you know, and it is a really advanced monitor. Um, and it might cost more than some other things on the market, but when you think about it, it has a PAR meter built in, it has a CO2 PPM meter built into the Pro. If you were to buy those two items separately, it would be way more expensive than what the cost of a Paul's Pro is. And you get all of that and then all this additional tracking stats and just delivered to you in a really clean, well thought out uh, interface that's easy to understand. And so you can take that data and then build upon your growing skills, learn from your mistakes, read back from your environments, get alerts on when things are going wrong and really help you take your grows to the next level. It's easy to use, it's easy to set up. They have great US-based phone customer service. Yeah, most companies don't these days. A special thanks again to Chris and the whole Pulse team for allowing us to come in and check out the space. Yeah, it was really dope. It's the first uh, kind of place we've ever got to tour, so it was a really cool experience. And, you know, just a small team out there who are passionate about growing uh, and what they're doing in the space, so it's really awesome. Uh, to be a part of that, check it out and, you know, see where these products are made that we've really come to love and integrate into our growth so well. So thanks again, Chris and the whole Pulse team. Make sure you check out our new Instagram, I'm High Again, because they deleted our main Instagram. So we're starting back over from the bottom, guys. So if you could go follow us on Instagram on the new one, it's I am High Again. So come give us a follow, guys. Check out all the latest photos, a bunch of stuff from the American Auto Flower Cup. Got a bunch of new vids coming out soon. Join us on Patreon for weekly live streams every Thursday with the fam. Always a good time. See you guys in the next one.